3DP UK here um, just with another video with the Anycubic uh, Cobra Max um, today's video is going to be about removal of the filament so I preheated um, the nozzle and the bed um, but I want to change the filament over so what you, you've got two options really so the preset is that you um, can choose so basically going back to the start screen you select prepare and uh, you click on filament now you've got the choice between putting the filament in which in our case isn't the case um, we want to remove it so you can just press remove and what that will do is bring up the temperature because uh, it's just not right at the moment and then once that's done it should just start automatically removing it from the nozzle however that takes time um, so my suggestion is let's stop that uh, if we then go over to the extruder itself <coughs> you have this here which is your quick release uh, for the gear now what I tend to do which makes it a lot quicker a lot easier um, and a lot less likely to clog up the um, Bowden tube um, is just to snip at the filament leave that bit hanging out through the filament sensor um, pack your reel away, reel away um, and then what you're left with is just a small amount of filament hanging out of the filament sensor now you go back to the Bowden extruder and you just pull this handle here like so and then just pull the filament through it's as simple as that what I would say though is don't pull it all the way through the extruder um, you're going to have like a bobbly bit at the end of the filament which has obviously been sat in the nozzle itself so what I tend to do just being really careful is just to you've got these little quick release ports on here so you just click on that and then what that will do is it will release the Bowden tube. So, so as you can see, I've removed the filament. I've put it through the storage holes. I'll put that to the side. I no longer require that. And as you can see, this wire is hanging out through the filament sensor. That gives me something just to grab onto. Now, what you want to do is now that we've removed that you see that it's just exposed now now don't pull it too far you don't want to do any damage and then just quite quickly you can just pull you pull this part here on the Bowden extruder open it up as you can see that then releases the filament inside the gears and then on this side just pull it through really quickly um, so what I'm going to try and do Let's just demonstrate that somehow. Okay, as you can see, the filament's just at the nozzle and at the filament sensor. You've got that little bit snipped. Uh, just pull this to, like so, and then as you can feel a bit of tension, just pull it through. And then you can see here, it's starting to come through. We're going to drag it a little bit more until we see it and then just see it's exposed a little bit more as you can see the tubes now empty and your filament is there but like I say you see the little fuzzy bit of there that's not going to go through the Bowden extruder you don't want, really want to do that it's it's not um, molten anymore it's, it's solid again but what I do is the same system, uh, just pull it like so, and just pull it out this way. And as you can see, I mean, you could always use that little bit of waste filament for some trials. And you can see now we've completely removed the filament. Look, a lot, it's a lot quicker than when I don't film it. Um, I could probably do that in less than 10 seconds, but for the purposes of this video, I just wanted to to explain how quickly it is 
rather than waiting for the actual filament to come up through the tube using the Bowden extruder, extruder and, the, and the filament um, removal screen. It can take up to 40 seconds just to remove and there is always that danger that the filament is being pulled so far up that it can go into the extruder and do some damage to the teeth. I, I personally, just for the sake of it, just quickly remove it using this quick release. Like I say, snip at the filament sensor, leave yourself enough to pull on it, and pull it out. And then when you're done, you just simply pop the Bowden tube back into the quick release. Make sure it's solid in there, give it a little tug, and then that's it. Um, so we have now removed the filament um, using the simple quick release method rather than the filament in, filament out settings on the screen. Now, as I said, I could normally do that in less than 10, 15 seconds in comparison, say 40, 50 seconds that the actual um, Cobra Max takes to remove uh, automatically. Now, like I say, just quickly recap, um, snip the tube there, uh, the filament here, uh, leave a little bit in the filament sensor all the way through then just give a little gentle tug once you've quick released this. Take the filament up to about here, you'll see it in the tubes. If it's white, then obviously just take a bit more care, but if there's a colored filament, you're more likely to see it in the tube. And then once you stop there, quick release it, pull it out, and then go the opposite way. Um, pull the actual filament this way rather than that way, because as I said, you've got some teeth in there, you don't really want to damage those. Um, and that's a quick removal guide. Now it's totally your choice if you want to do it that way, otherwise you've got the screen here. So that's 3DB UK, that was just a quick tip, um, bit of time saving. I hope you have a great day, like and subscribe.